So guys, I know how it is to have 50 FPS in CSGO. Matter of fact, only two months ago I was getting 20 FPS in CSGO. And now I'm getting over 300. So I hope that actually inspires you guys to follow this tutorial. And yeah guys, let's just roll this tutorial. What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Tim Pot, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to increase your FPS in CSGO, maybe maybe even it just plus, pluses it by 1, you still increase your FPS by it, and hopefully this will increase it by at least 100, that's what I'm aiming for guys, 100, so the first thing you want to do is go on Google Chrome, and this works for only Windows guys. So what you're going to do is type in to your... So what you're going to do is go into the link in the description and click on it. It's called bitsum.com slash park control. And what you're going to do is just scroll down the tiniest bit and you can see park control freeware. And this is for free, obviously. Don't listen to this thing where right up here where it says pay. It's just if you want to pay to get extra, uh, I guess, extra accessories or something like that, um, then you just pay for it. It's only £6 if you want to uh, have some more features in it then just pay £6, you know, it makes it better. But wait, the main thing here is picking the 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, what I'd recommend doing is looking at if your PC has 32-bit or 64-bit. Make sure you pick the right one. Uh, mine is a 64-bit as it is a new PC. If your PC is quite old and it's running from like five years ago or six years ago, um, then pick 32-bit. But you should know, and I'll link a video on how to know. So yeah, you want to click download, and then you go through all the installation steps. It's actually quite simple to do. You just click I agree, and then once you download it, it won't load up. It won't load up automatically. You need to go down to this uh, bar icon over here, and you're going to have to click this park control thing over here. You're going to click on it, left click, and if it hasn't already make sure you select high performance normally it'd be to balance for you guys it'll be everything like five percent and all that stuff like that you want to put it to high performance and then apply as you can see it just showed that it's applied as i was saying earlier um that if you pay for it you get more options as you see if i click here i'm sorry this feature is only there for uh park control pro which is the paid version which you are not going to get because there's no point it runs perfectly without it um, and yeah, you're gonna make sure all your cores are enabled So all your four cores or how much cores you have make sure it says over here four or four cores or how much you have Obviously if, it, if you had one core then you put one of one core. So just make sure that's good and obviously CSGO does take some some uh, CPU a lot of CPU actually to load the game So what we are going to do right here is load up the game and we are going to look quickly what our FPS is right now so guys, I have CSGO loaded up right now, and don't mind my rank, I only got demoted. I only got de-ranked uh, twice yesterday. I know, I lost like five games yesterday, it's so annoying. So I was a, well, basically a Nova. But yeah, that was quite annoying, I de-ranked twice, and now I can't be asked to play the game that much anymore. So um, we are going to go to play, offline with bots. And then you'll see the option of workshop and this is where the good stuff comes from don't mind my um all my maps here you know i've only got like 30 aiming maps you know we are going to click view workshop and this is where we are going to download some workshops to increase your fps well this is actually going to ben benchmark your fps not increase it but you get what i mean so we go we are going to type in this thing over here fps and just press enter and as you can see, we're going to put benchmark performance test and we are going to subscribe to it so it does download. So here we go, click on subscribe and after you do it, it should come up with it saying that it has subscribed. And if you want to unsubscribe, just simply click it again. So we are going to X out this and wait for it to load. We are going to click refresh map list and it should be done. Now we are going to click go. And um, keep in mind, guys, I'm recording in 80,000 uh, bitrate and 1920 by 1080p so it might be like normally i get around 330 fps or 300 fps in csgo and in like pubg and stuff i get about 120 and my pc is not the best obviously but it can run some games but when it when i'm recording it doesn't like obviously capture as much as it should so when the map has loaded in it will look something like this we are going to click continue and pick asylum is going to go for a terrorist team as you can see, um, load up right here. Um, now what we can do is basically 
go over to this and it says helpful commands that might increase your FPS and you can do any of these you can like knife one and then it should change um, I don't know what this one is, but I'm going to turn that off because I don't really want that. Um, I don't know how to turn it off. Brilliant. Right, uh, basically you can just knife one and then click save. Uh, knife save or press E on it or whatever. So we are going to benchmark it, mark it right now. So we're going to click start. Yeah, start. So as you can see, top left, if you can't see it, I'm sorry about the background noise, guys, if you can hear any. Um, it's probably the helicopter uh, that I'm in right now. Uh, as you can see, top left, it's saying 300 FPS, and you guys can see it as well. So tell me what yours is in, in the comments down below. And once it lets me down here, I will show you what it's like. And I am on high settings on CSGO, if you guys were wondering. And this next bit, what I'm going to show you is how to increase FPS. So yeah guys, that was basically the whole uh, FPS map. I uh, actually did show you guys the whole FPS map. Basically, it just captures all your FPS and you can actually see what your FPS is top left. And you can see mine right now, is which is like 400. And I'm recording 1080p and 80,000 bitrate. So it's pretty good. Um, sorry if you can hear my clicky keyboard, guys. Um, but yeah, well, after you've done the click disconnect and it should disconnect you all quickly and all stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to actually show you how to increase your FPS right now. The first step should increase your FPS by, let's say, like 5 or 20. Uh, depends on your PC, to be honest. And if this doesn't work, comment down below and I'll, like, help you. Just don't comment that it don't work because obviously it does. And uh, comment if it does work, guys. So we are going to click Escape right now. We're going to go to Help and Options, Video Settings. And these are obviously, like, the most important things. So I got Global Shadow Quality on low because it doesn't do anything. All it does is uh, distract you. That's why I've got it on low. You can put it to very low. It doesn't really change. But I could obviously put it to high. Just why would I want a shadow? And yeah, it's been proven that low is better than high on global shadow quality. So you might as well put it to low. You get better FPS that way. And the model texture quality, I'll put to high. Put this to high as well. Like, just copy all my settings here. Make sure you turn this from 1080p to 720p right here. And uh, it depends on your monitor size, obviously. So make sure uh, everything's fit for you guys. So if you have a really, really bad PC and it couldn't run 30 FPS on high, you put this to medium and try run it on medium. Simple as that. But we are going to disable motion blur. And just copy all my settings right now, guys. I'll give you a five seconds. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all you need to know. And a another thing is when you are playing CSGO, make sure you open this thing right here. And I'm going to show you in just a second. So we are back on my computer screen right here. And what we need to do from here is right click on my taskbar, click on task manager. And after we do that, we are going to see task manager loaded up right now. What we are going to do is notice that CSGO is open. We are going to open it up like this. You are going to right click on it. Go to details, right click on it again, set priority, put it to high, and it will focus everything on CSGO. Never put it to real time or very low, otherwise it will just crash. And basically what very high does, or uh, what high, whatever it's called, is basically it runs it much faster as it uh, like isolates the background, uh, background like stuff that's running as you can see like all this stuff that's running it puts all this stuff like out of the way and it still runs it obviously but it's not as fast so csgo can run faster but obviously after you are done make sure you change it back to normal or below normal whatever just close it and it should be done another thing you want to click on startup make sure everything is disabled uh, except from stuff that you really do need maybe like retlec hd audio manager maybe if you want skype open but as you can see uh it says Startup impact and it should say uh, if it's high or not like if it's really bad when it starts up Yeah, this basically just makes your PC lag when you uh, start the computer up and it uh, will lag until you close the program So like what's the point of opening to, uh, Skype when I uh, when I start 
when I can just open it whenever I want. And make sure you have Skype closed when you play CSGO. That's a big no-no if you have that. But the next thing I'm going to be showing you is only for NVIDIA users. You want to go into your NVIDIA experience or GeForce experience as some people call it. And you are going to go to the driver section over here. And I'm pretty sure this is similar to AMD. You want to make sure your driver is updated. So just check for updates. And as you can see, I've just recently updated mine. So that's all you need to do. And then from here, you want to right click on your desktop. And this is for NVIDIA YouTube. YouTubers, I mean users only. So we are going to click on it after we right click, we're going to click on NVIDIA control panel. Let's wait for it to load up. And what we are going to do here is adjust the performance of CSGO or any game. So we are going to go to adjust image settings with preview. We are going to go to use performance. I can't even say it. Use my preference enhancing. I, I can't read. Sorry, guys. But yeah, basically, you're going to click on it, left click and we it's probably going to be like this to just performance and that's what you want if you have a really bad pc but if you have a okay pc and you're getting 100 fps on csgo put it in the middle so it is some quality and some performance but i'm just going to boost it all the way up to quality because i have somewhat of a good pc and then let's click apply here and it's similar to amd i'm pretty sure you have an amd control panel i'm pretty sure and then we are we are what we are going to do after that after we click apply is click manage 3d settings go all the way down to the bottom and you can see virtual vertical sync and we are going to left click on it turn it off click apply right here and it should take some time to apply and of course if you don't if it doesn't work properly you can click restore and that should boost your uh, pc settings and stuff like that so we are going to go to program settings right now and we are going to click add Left click on add, wait for it to load up. So after it is opened, it should look something similar to this. We are going to click on CSGO as this is a CSGO boosting tutorial. Um, not actually boosting your rank, just boosting your FPS. So you're gonna add selected program or just double click. And everything should come up here to so make sure it's selected over here. And you will change some of these settings here. So maybe um, ambient uh, occlusion, you could put this to quality or performance or something like that. Or you can just turn it off if you have... This is what I mean, guys. If you have a bad PC, turn most of these two off. If you have a decent PC that can at least run CSGO properly, put these to performance, then put it to high, something like that. Just pull it to something that you like, like I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Sorry, guys. But yeah, hopefully this did help you guys move your CSGO. If it just did only boost your computer 1 FPS, that's still, that's still, that's still good, guys. 1 FPS is good, come on. But for most of you, you should at least have boosted at least 20 FPS. And if you already did these tips before, I'm so sorry, guys. But I do have a link in the description for you guys to go check out my old... Um, my old PC boosted tutorials and they're more informative than this one. This is just for CSGO. But if you want your whole PC to be... Uh, I guess less laggy and it probably would work for games as well. Then all you have to do is click in the link description I will have it displayed in the description With a YouTube link that you can just click on and it will go to the uh, the video obviously But yeah, that video is really informative on how to boost your PC's FPS or uh, how to boost your PC like when you're opening files and Doing all that stuff. So thank you for watching guys. Make sure you leave a like and that will show me that you want more of these videos. Maybe if we hit 100 likes in this video or 50 likes, I'll do a PUBG video, Players Don't Know Battleground, how to boost FPS and that. Because I know most people are struggling with FPS and that. So let me know if you do want that, guys. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my notifications. And I'll see you in my, my later videos, I guess. Peace out, guys. Make sure you subscribe as well.